We've talked about this on the show before about collecting things and having old things and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And every now and then, something will sell at auction mm, that's yep. like still sealed and all that stuff that's like ridiculous. And this story, this is from The Verge, um, kind of is writing down in the past 12 months how gaming nes- memorabilia and games mm-hmm. have gone bonkers yeah, for whatever yeah. reason. So check this out. On yeah. July 10th of 2020, mm. the record was set that Super Mario Brothers, a copy of Super Mario Brothers, sold for $114,000. We talked about that on the show. Mm-hmm. Then November 23rd, 2020, that was beaten by Super Mario Brothers 3, selling for $156,000. Mm. This is still this, this COVID going on. Yeah. Mm. April 2nd of this year, Super Mario Brothers sold again for $660,000. And then just last week, July 9th, a copy of Legend of Zelda sold for eight. dollars Hundred and seventy thousand mm. dollars, setting the world record Insane. for a game being sold. And then, if you ever wondered who the king of Nintendo was, between Link and Mario, Mario comes back this week, and a copy of a sealed copy of Super Mario sixty four with a nine point eight rating on the mint scale or whatever it's called sold for one million five hundred and sixty thousand dollars come on that is an insane amount of money for something you can't even touch pretty much you know what i'm saying yeah do you guys have any want to have something in your house that is untouchable or it loses its value no. no. I open every <laughs> no. Funko Pop box. I open every one and I take it out and I put it on the shelf. I open everything. <laughs> no. Yeah. I went to enjoy it, not just look at it. Yeah. It's so I, I think me and Chris are gonna be the closest ones here because I'm <laughs> I, I'm I'm the i I'm I understand the sentiment of open them all up. I only have four Funko things. They're all still in the box. Yeah. None of them will ever be worth any money because it's like a Roadhog, a Wrecking Ball, a Bastion, and a Gold Black Panther. Mm-hmm. But, like, those aren't gaining any money, but I'm still not taking about the box. <laughs> Why Chris, is that? I don't know. I feel like it's easier to display in the box. Because you can, can stack you them? You can stack them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They're not stacked, but I could if I wanted to. <laughs> in a pinch, you could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I, if my wife was like, you got to get rid of something, I was like, well, I can stack them boxes. I'll give Chris, more room. I got a four yeah, by four space now. <laughs> exactly. Chris, what do you say? You, you, you want something to sit in for just display? I don't mind that. Yeah. That doesn't, I'm looking that, behind you right now. I, can I mean, <laughs> my, my commander video statue right there mm-hmm. for those still, watching video. Still in the situation. Has but that's, never that's been taken reason, out of that though, box. Right? Yes. Now, it, it is partially for a reason. But I've got other stuff that I've mm-hmm. not opened. And... So the so Stacy and she, she this drives her up a wall. It absolutely drives her up a wall. She bought me a pair of Vans slip-on shoes. Ooh. But they're yes. Star Wars. Mm-hmm. They have the Star Wars gra- yes. and when you put them together, like it, it's the Star Wars graphic and it goes across the the front of both shoes. Mhm. Now awesome. I have opened the the box and looked at them cuz I didn't know what they were and I, I've opened it look I've never once worn them. Never. Mm. And I told her, I was like, I'm not going to wear them. They're in a box. They're at our house. And, and I said, what I want is I want to get display cases and I want to display them inside there. And then I will never touch them again. Yeah. And it drives her insane. That it's like, no, they're yeah. for wearing. It's like, no, I, they're, like, they're too these. good. Yeah, right? They're too good. I, I want, the, and it's not even like for in this instance, it's not even like a money, like, oh, they're going to gain in value. Like, I don't know if they will or won't. I don't, I don't really care. I just want them to look pristine forever. You and I know when they're in there, yeah. they're going to be that way. So I can see the having a thing or buying a thing that I really, really always loved or wanted and wanting to maintain it as like and meant as I can. Mm-hmm. And thus, yeah. to do that, I likely couldn't utilize it for whatever its intended purpose was. So your Commander video, is it yes. in the Saran as well or just in the box? Or did it not come with a wrap? 
I don't think it came with a wrap. It's just because I don't know if I would have the the wherewithal not to take the wrap at least off. Like I have my Final Fantasy remake deluxe edition box sitting there with the art Mm -hmm. book and everything like still I've never played that version of the game. I only played it digitally, Um, but I have that sitting up there um, because I got it digital from Butterfinger. I don't know if you guys remember. Mm -hmm. And so I never opened that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's just sitting there in the box CD and everything. I definitely took it out the Saray wrap. Yeah, take a look at it. You know what I mean. I know that I've had things that I didn't take out of Saran Wrap. At the moment, also on my desk, I have, I have a, a Solid Snake. What was it? The front Amiibo. One? Amiibo never mm-hmm. opened it, so it didn't have Saran, but it's never been opened. It's not mm-hmm. going to be opened. And down over there, I have three Disney Infinity figures. I have Darth Maul, Darth Vader, and Kylo Ren, and they've never been opened. Now I, tr- I, tried I bought that those with an action figure, and I, I I came home from the road and it was open. Really? Yeah, like, but I, I guess I somebody's playing little, with the Darth Vader. I don't have little hands here to do that. You know, <laughs> yeah. Ellie doesn't know how to open these things. That's true, and she's not tall enough to reach these. But yeah. what I did is when I went and bought these when they're like Disney Infinity's going away. I was like, cool. I went and oh, bought those yeah. three, and then I bought three more, and I opened those and kept these <laughs> unopened. Yeah, that's what I did with uh, that's what I did with ET. I don't know if you guys remember when the ET thing was happening with the Atari games and they were like, yeah, yeah. In, in between, like, we don't know if they're going to let them dig these up or not. I went and bought two of them things. Did you really? For a dollar. <laughs> I was like, wow. hey, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just why yeah. not? Right. And then they let them dig them up. I was like, well, there goes that. <laughs> I'm never seeing those $2 again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> what you're saying then, Chris, is that while you're in Houston, I shouldn't call kale with his huge feet and say, Hey, go over to Chris's house, put on those star Wars shoes. <laughs> And no. send me a photo. <laughs> and trounce around. <laughs> he, he can't, no, he couldn't. One, he couldn't fit them on his feet. And two, he can't get to where they are. <laughs> I like They're it. in a vault That's under the amazing. house. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's amazing. 